Hello everybody, this is Gooba Doug with another top five. Now before I start this list, they, I must have one rule for this list. The I'm going to be doing a list on the top five forgotten items in the Mario series. So the rule is, is that the item must not appear, up, have appeared for at least two installments, meaning that 3DS games and Wii U games don't count. So without further ado, I think we should probably start now. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. yeah. Number five is the propeller mushroom. The propeller mushroom allows you to fly in the air for a short amount of time and it's very fun to use. I can't actually remember why it's fun. It's probably a bad thing, but... I always, I always like to play this game with my friend, and I was always excited to get the propeller mushroom just because it was a fun item to have. Yes, I do realize that we had the propeller block in Mario 3D Land. But come on, that just looks so much cooler. I'm serious. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Super Mario Brothers. What a classic. But then there's always an enemy. That's always going to get in your way. The Hammer Brothers. Uh, you have no idea how many times I've died because of these guys. It is really annoying. But now, you can play as a Hammer Brother. The Hammer Bro suit allows you to throw hammers just like the real Hammer Bro. Now you can be that annoying enemy, but you can't be it anymore, sadly. As it was only seen in Super Mario Brothers 3. Ah, oh, we will miss you, Hammer Brother suit. I think. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. yeah. Number three on this list is the metal flower thingy that Wario can use from Mario 64 DS. Now, the reason I think this item should come back is that it could even work in 2D Mario games because you could walk into the water and the water levels, and it was actually kind of fun item. Also, it goes along with Wario really well, as he is fat and he has somehow gotten even heavier. Just a little side note by me. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. yeah. Here we have a triple tie between the super cape, the flying hat thingy from Mario 64, and that flying thingamabobber that is from Mario Galaxy. Now, the reason I put them all on this list is because, don't deny it, they all function exactly the same. Though they do seem different in their own sort of way. The super cape is sort of the Mario 64 hat and the flying hat in a 2D game. And ask anybody, they're all really, really fun items to use. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Number one is the blue shell. For those of you who don't know, which none of you should because I never told anybody, New Super Mario Brothers was sort of the game that brought me into what I am today. It's my, it's one of my favorite games of all time, and the blue shell is one of the items that should return. It's an awesome item. Seriously, look at all it can do. The blue shell allows you to sort of run through everything in a Koopa shell, just like if you were a real Koopa that Mario had stomped on. It is really fun, and some of the and you can unlock a whole bunch of other s dozens of secret passages with it. And I'm always wanting to get this item whenever I play through this game. It's just so awesome. Psst. Hey, what? You're supposed to be doing the outro video. <laughs> Subscriber die. No, 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 no. Ah, ow, ow, fine, 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 fine. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. My hat's too big, I know. So anyway, thank you for watching everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the videos that I make. So yeah. It's hard with the hat. Gotta go back to sleep now? Fine.